Welcome everybody, it's Wild West and Coda, saying hi, oh yeah. And we're here today to show off some cool solar panels and my backup generator system. All right, you know what? We're not even gonna do an intro on Coda. Let's just show it as it is. Old girl, good doggy. Yeah, all right, let's get to it. So, first thing is, is this is an 84 panel setup. Look at it, it just goes on forever. And in the winter when it's snowing, this is a real pain in the you know what to clear all the snow off. Each one is 300 watts, so this is a 23 kilowatt system. Fun fact, this is the largest system you can own in Wyoming, unless you get a permit to become a power station. So we were a little upset about that. We couldn't add more, but it is what it is. So let's go over, I have this little table set up. Now if you see, those are three tubes. There we go, I'm trying to get out of the spotlight there. All right, so we've got three tubes, 20 each. And look, there's 60 ounces of silver there. Now, that's as close as I could get to what's inside of these 84 panels. I did the math, and there's roughly 55 ounces of silver inside of these panels. Now these panels have really helped us reduce our electrical bill. We are still grid tied. We had to get one of those smart meters installed. It's on an outpost building that nobody sleeps in, so that's no big deal, it's away from us. But how it works is essentially during the summer, um, some months we might get a little bit of a credit. It's never been too much, but most of the time we're saving about $1,000 a month. And we still have a bill. I mean, it's usually $200, $300, a little more in the winter. So overall, um, the cost of this system, yes, it was very expensive. Um, rough figure right at 100,000 for install and everything. And that includes all the controllers. It even has internet hooked up to it, which was not fun to run because I had to do that myself. And let's see here, let's look at the back here. Okay, so we're looking upside down, but it's an Enphase controller. And I believe the panels are Solar World. Yes, so they are USA made. So far we've been really happy. This is the third year having them. Uh, surprisingly, the deer really like them because they lay under there in the hot day and they're protected. So there's a bunch of deer beds down at the end that we've had to kind of clean up a few times. All right. What do you think, Coda? You having fun? Let's kind of add on an adventure today. Oh, there's my son's little practice driving range. And just to show everybody one advantage to having a bunch of property, we're sitting on over 30 acres. Is you can just hit golf balls out in the middle of nowhere and my youngest son just goes and takes the four-wheeler or walks and picks them up and tries again so pretty fun stuff huh coda now as far as maintenance costs are concerned we have had to have uh, one of the controllers on the back replaced one time and that was i believe due to a lightning strike right nearby it fried it through the internet connection I know because it fried my router inside too and the other thing is if you notice these panels are all out in the open and we have little birds fly by that like to drop their little presents on it so we pay them to come out once a year and they use like a special distilled water mix clean it all up and that's about a $500 cost per year mainly for the lawn drive because remember I live really far out from the city all right well let's go take a look at what happens when this goes out Okay, these boxes right here on the left are where all the power comes in. And Coda's showing off the generator. And there's a giant Generac box. It's a transfer switch inside of this building. Now how everything works is if we lose power, this generator, which is monstrous, see it's powered by that propane tank right there where Coda's at. So let me just quick show you. That is a giant V10 propane generator. The line is run underground, try to give it a little boost. And that thing is the same size they use to run most of the Home Depots on backup power. Now this should be a 1,000 gallon tank. They were out, so it's a 500. So right now we can only run about 10 to 14 days constantly. But that means everything can run. Um, you could turn on ovens, you could turn on washers, dryers, everything. We try to conserve power when we're um, running off of this. And so far, the most we've had to use it is for three days straight. 
but this is probably the most important thing living out in the wilderness when the power goes out that means you don't have any water which is the most important thing and then of course heat in the winter so i love that this gets distributed to all the different properties on our place and this cage right here is not a faraday cage it's not enclosed look at the top see instead that is just to keep the deer and other animals out we've had some badgers bears and mountain lions all in the area so this is how we set up it's not completely off grid and i don't quite think that's a possibility short of having this entire building filled up with batteries because it would take a massive amount of batteries to power this place so this is our little shop that the kids have been using um they've kind of outgrown the cool trampoline there it's outside for now you can take a look inside real quick all right so check it out led lights all around even in the center and yes there is our tractor just got it back from kubota they had a cool service they came out picked it up did all the servicing on the thing and that is a Kubota L3560 for those curious so it has the full cab with heat air conditioning the works way fun it's a life savior in winter but we would have to store batteries somewhere in here if we were ever to go fully off grid and I just don't see that as a possibility right now and there's other issues such as trying to register your kids for school if you're disconnected from the power grid so our best option we've decided is just keep those solar panels and roughly in 10 years they'll be paid off and then they'll be just generating electricity at a profit. All right, let's go back outside. Okay, so there's our solar panels back here and this is that little building and I have my barn cats in here right now. They're locked up. Let's see if they wanna say hi. Hey, what's up, dude? What's up? This is Bolt. He's nice, but they are fully clawed and barn cats they will eat anything and there's a black one in there too i don't know if he's going to come out neymar come here can you say hi okay now the most important thing i wanted to talk about today though is what we've learned in having these for several years and the most important thing i can say is it's important to have these cleared off of snow between 10 o'clock and two o'clock that is when they make the most power. Uh, when that sun comes on by in the winter, it makes a lot of power during that time and hardly any after those hours. Uh, like four in the afternoon, nothing. So, kind of crazy. You would think that you'd make a lot more power. And these are monocrystalline. They're not the poly. That means that they make the most power when it is just bright out, not cloudy. The poly panels are used for if you live in a really cloudy environment, such as in like Oregon or somewhere else that's really damp and dreary. Now, another thing we've learned is when it is snowing a lot, and I mean, we only had a snowstorm this big last year where we received over four feet of snow. And as we were pulling the snow down, it was collecting along the bottom here. And so but just pulling it straight down was kind of creating a little barrier. Uh, wasn't the greatest thing. So we came through, we pulled out a bunch of plants that were in the way. I'm hoping this will be cleared out now that we can just take a four-wheeler and plow and push the snow or something, even a snow blower at this point. But So as of right now, as far as I can tell, this is the largest solar panel in Wyoming on a private property. Now I know that you can own more solar panels, but you would need a, again, like I said, a power permit to become a power station. That's a little insane. I'm not going to that route. So this is what it is for now. And it's still a lot. <laughs> it's crazy. All right. All 55 ounces of silver working hard. Right, Coda? Yeah, she's just enjoying the sun right now. All right, everybody. Well, I appreciate you stopping by and we checked out the solar and the generator setup. I hope you all enjoyed. And for those curious, that uh, generator doesn't really get filled too much except for during the winter. They come by once a month and just top it off for us, but we've never run out so far. And like I said, three days is the most we've ran on that. 
All right, everybody. Lakota's giving me that eye like she wants to go back inside and take a nap because that's what all old dogs deserve, huh? Yeah. All right, everybody. This is Wild West and Coda. Everybody, have a good one.